casinos were not built on winners. I pay all the bills in this casino. I cried a couple times. This fucking dealer. When you come to a casino, it should be coming to your family table for dinner. You should behave. Do not come in here and act like you own the casino. You don't. Don't grab my butt. It does not belong to you just because you're a customer. And I don't need to know the seven positions you had with that girl last night. Don't cheat. You will get caught. We're going to see it. We got 3,000 cameras here. You think you can do it? Maybe 1,900. Don't throw your cards at me. Don't throw your chips at me. Yeah, if you lose, don't blame on me. You get mad at the dealer this hand, and then the next hand, you win a hand, and you say, oh, great dealer. Oh, am I great or am I that bitch that just happened two seconds ago? Do not micromanage the poker table. You don't need to do my job. Half the time when you try and do my job, usually do it wrong. I tell them all the time, you want to do? Here's my shirt. Do not take pictures in the casino, period. Some people are here, they do not want to be seen. I I've had people watch porn sitting right next to me. And I have to tell them, uh, sir, that's not allowed in the casino. But I'm only watching porn. You'd be amazed what people do. Your grandfather sometimes is not the sweetest man you think he is. <laughs> Most people don't know chips are the dirtiest thing. It's not like you can throw them in the wash machine and start with a fresh batch tomorrow. Carts are gross. They will run to the bathroom, pee, poop, not clean their hands, and they come back. I hate when players get french fry and go like, Oh, is it me? Oh, let me check what I got. Oh, cool. Oh, yes, that's a big one. Do be hygienic. Take a shower before you come to the casino, please. If he is in this side, I have to be the whole down dealing this way because I can't smell that. And if you're not going to freshen up, please do not sit next to the dealer because we do not want to smell you. A good tip for a dealer is whatever the small blind is of the game, and whatever the pot size is. You want to tip $5 and somebody else will be like, don't tip the dealer $5, that's too much. Don't tell someone not to give me money. If we don't get tips, we have the worst salary in the whole country. I have dealt hands where players have won $50,000 or more and not gotten tipped at all. We get paid $5 per hour. If we don't get tips, I prefer to work in McDonald's or another place. And don't make excuses for not tipping, we don't care. Thank yous don't pay our bills. You don't need to go somewhere where you should be tipping. Play online poker on the computer. I've seen people win sixty or seventy thousand dollars in one hand, but I've also seen people lose sixty or seventy thousand dollars in one hand. You should never make the game personal. They would lose a hand and say, you know, I'm not tipping you ever again. They bring their mothers into it. Are you married? Oh, that's why you're not married. I hope when you get out of here, a car will run you over or stuff like that. We know where you live, or we know where your car is parked. That you do look around. <laughs> <laughs> Do not be a sore loser. We're gonna hope you lose so you get off the table. I check the lineup on the table, who's playing, and I go like, oh man, I want this guy to lose. But they don't know this. We had a player who was a little obnoxious. He liked to make comments when people lost. And one day he made a comment to the wrong person. The guy was eating a steak. He had a steak knife and a fork. He took the fork and stabbed the guy in the leg. Unfortunately, getting hit on is part of the job. Do we like it? Not really. Will we go along with it? Sometimes. Oh, yeah, it happened to me all the time. All ladies, most of the time, yeah. I never got, you know, like a young girl, blonde girl, that never happened. That's a fantasy. I'm trying to work, I'm not here, I'm not at a bar trying to get hit on. The reality is like 68 years old lady go to you like, hi, Harold. You know, and hi, Gloria, or hi, Suzanne. I would rather have you drop a $1 tip in my box than your phone number. Money, 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 money. Oh, high rollers? The, that's a different species, you know? That's a different type of player. Those are the ones that get upset the most. The longer you last, the better the, the payoff is. Sometimes we have customers that I think they're living in the parking lot. Somebody was talking, their tooth came flying out. And I went chasing over the table to get their tooth and then put it right back in their mouth. Like nothing happened. Like my wife's in labor. Can I still stay in the tournament? The player put the supervisor in a chokehold. Cops had to come and tase them at the table. And a lady had a stroke at the table. And they didn't even want to wait for the 9-11 to take her away. Someone just died and they were having a funeral and he was trying to rush me. They wanted her chips. If you see you're the last player in the casino at 3 a.m. in the morning and Christmas day, please go home. 95% of the time, it's a nice job to have, but that 5% are the assholes we deal with. If one thing I can thank this job, 
I, I got into Buddhism just so I could actually uh, take those negative energies and just push it down. When I'm here, I have just as much fun sitting in that box dealing as if I was on the other side playing. That dealer can make you have fun or that dealer can make you be miserable for that half hour. And I don't want to be miserable for a half hour. I want to be happy.